Hey my beautiful people welcome back to the escape plans today is the day 3 of our nepal trip and what all we have planned we are going to tell you now about that so today we are visiting chandgiri hills this is one of the best attraction of nepal everyone here will suggest you to visit that place especially when you are coming in summer you want some place where the weather should be pleasant you can roam around you can enjoy the view so this is one of that spot so all in all the weather is good we are happy and this is the place where you will need a day to enjoy so uh, everything we have planned there are activities which you can do which i am going to show you as well so if you are visiting nepal this is also going to be one of your spot and especially like we have kept our trip little relaxing we are visiting places but we are not in hurry so today it was it is going to be just chandgiri hills now let's see what all we will have to explore let's go So finally we bought the ticket. It is too expensive. They charged us 1200 Nepali rupees. So basically if you are coming to Nepal you have to carry a lot of cash. They don't accept 500 and 200 notes which was strange for me because they are accepting 100 uh, INR but not 500 or 200. So you need a lot of cash. Don't forget to carry that otherwise you will end up paying a lot of con conversion uh, rates. So now we have got the ticket. The line is there. Now we are also going to stand there because it has already started. Let's go. I hope it is worth and let's see how much we explore and how the view is going to be. We are excited for it. Our family is already there in the queue. We thought ki thodi information aapko de dete hain abhi isi beech mein. So everything here was well maintained, uh, well managed and as soon as we got into this funny cooler it was an amazing experience not only for me but for my family as well they were really excited and were enjoying it thoroughly this is scary but it's good <laughs> and the view starts from here uh it is a long ride it will take almost 10 minutes to reach to chandragiri hills Here is the board with direction and information. So there is Mahadev Temple, which we are going to cover for sure. There is a point from where you can see the Everest. If you are coming with kids, there is a play zone, and of course, washroom, food, everything will be there. So finally, we have reached Chandgiri Hills. and i hope you have seen it that we took the cable car to reach here the distance from the ground is 8000 feet so now we are going to visit this temple is mandir ki jo katha hai wo shiv aur sati se judi hui hai jaisa hum sab jante hain ki sati devi ne daksh prachapati ke yagya mein कूद कर अपने जीवन की आहुति दी दे दी थी उसके बाद भगवान शिव ने सती देवी को अपने कंधों पे लेकर वो यहाँ से वहाँ पूरी दुनिया में भाग रहे थे उस टाइम सती के शरीर के कई हिस्से दुनिया भर में जाकर गिरे थे जहाँ पर तीर्थ यात्राएं आज की रेट में स्थापित हैं ऐसा माना जाता है 
कि सती का जो माथा था वह यहाँ गिरा था जहाँ आज भालेश्वर महादेव मंदिर का निर्माण किया गया है So you get all the facilities over here. They have restaurant. They have restroom. Uh, they have everything you need. Even if you are coming with kid, the, your kid can play. They have ATM machine, zip lining. So lots of activities are there, and you can actually spend some time here. The weather is good. We are actually enjoying it. It was an amazing and relaxing trip today. We are done for the day. We are going back to the hotel, but the trip is not over yet. We will see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the escape plans. Today is the day four of our Nepal trip. So day three was quite relaxing, and we also had just one activity to do. And after that, we enjoyed some time with family. We had poolside party, and that's how. day 3 went today we are again energized we are going out we are going to visit three places to today again uh, number 1 swambhunath stupa number 2 bhagpur number 3 nagakot so these three places are again we the one of the best tourist place in nepal and um, i wasn't expecting that we will be able to you know spend six days doing some, something or another but actually days are going quite fast we just have left one day and after that we will be back to our home but anyway we have two days left today we have three other places to visit so let's go let's explore the nepal little bit more okay so we have reached swambhunath stupa this is our first spot as i told that we are covering three spots today this looks really beautiful Also, you need to buy ticket here, so we are going to purchase the ticket. I will let you know the price of the ticket as well. Let's go. Okay, so we have got the tickets now. Now let's take the entry. It says NRS fifty. That means Nepali rupees fifty. Uh, you need to pay. So it's a Buddha temple. As you can see, we have come from this way. There's another way. You could also climb from that side. So of course you need to take a lot of stairs. But yes, there are two ways to reach this temple. The main attraction is the stupa, a big dome with Buddha's eye, showing wisdom and compassion. The stupa is topped with a golden spire and Buddha's eye painted on all side, showing wisdom and kindness. you get to see the stunning views but of course for that you need to climb a series of steps to reach the stupa and from from the top you can get this breath taking views of the entire kathmandu valley including the surrounding hills and mountains the architecture is really beautiful the stupa's architecture reflects a blend of nepali and tibetan style but one tip if you are coming here we would suggest that you should come during morning or evening and if the weather is pleasant in that case of course you can come any time so we have restaurant also here in case After the darshan, you want to drink something or eat. They have all the facilities. Now we are going to visit Saraswati Lakshmi Temple, which is again upstairs. So of course, if you have leg pain, back pain, it could be little difficult for you, honestly, because you have to climb a lot of stairs. And by the way, people also call this place a monkey temple. Now I know why they call it because you will see all around a lot of monkeys roaming around, and they won't do anything. They are just walking and enjoying as we are. Okay so we have reached our second spot which is Bhagpur so now we are going 
One thing is very common here that you have to climb stairs. We are buying tickets. What is the price? 500 NPR. One of the main attraction of Nepal. So with the ticket we got this map uh, where all the architectures which are there uh, is located. Uh, this place is all together really beautiful. You will get to see different different architecture, uh, Nepali culture you will get to explore because there are small small streets you can explore. Uh, this place is huge. Of course, this is famous for uh, the Bar Square. So this place is beautiful. There are a lot of temples there as well. And, and also we saw uh, these local people celebrating something here. Now we don't know actually what it was. But if you know, let us know in the comment section. This was really beautiful. So let us know in the comment section if you know what is happening here. So this was our second spot, Bhagpur. Yes. Now we are moving towards our third and final spot. Let's go. And now we are moving towards Nagarkot, one of the beautiful hill station of Nepal. It is a viewpoint as well from where you can get the view of Everest. And we also experienced bad weather for some time. But still even bad weather could not stop us. So we had tasty Maggi and a cup of hot tea here. After some time weather was all clear. You won't see many people here because uh, many people came but they went back because of the weather. But thankfully the weather is clear now and hopefully we will get to see the view from here. And here is the view of beautiful Everest situated in Nepal. So it was worth waiting. Um, we actually enjoyed that as well with our cup of tea and Maggi. By the way, one important information, if you would like to stay uh, near to this viewpoint, you can do that as well. There are resorts you can book, you can stay and enjoy sunrise and sunset. Hey my beautiful people, welcome back to Escape Plans. Today is our day 5 of Nepal trip. It's a final day because tomorrow we are checking out and we are going back to India. Uh, so far it has been a wonderful trip. I hope you have seen our last three videos. Today we are covering another beautiful place of Nepal which is Sangha. And here we are at Sangha Mahadev Temple also known as Kailashnath Mahadev Temple. Uh, this place is not very far from Kathmandu. Uh, by the way, this Lord Shiva's statue is one of the tallest Hindu statue in the world. We could see it from very far and we were excited to see it. Finally, we are here. Also one suggestion for all of you, if you are visiting Bhaktpur, you can cover this place 
same day because it's not very far from there. This is one of the longest suspension bridge. Uh, this is also one way to reach Shiva's temple. So basically we took another way because we went there from car. Uh, now we have parked our car downstairs and we are crossing this bridge just to enjoy the view because we have already visited the temple. So this was Sangha. Yesterday we were back around 7 p.m. We were tired. We wanted to spend some time. We wanted to relax. So we could not end this vlog yesterday. Today we are going back to India. It was a wonderful experience. We literally enjoyed our Nepal trip. I hope the tips we gave you, the information we gave you will help you plan your trip better. We mostly explored Kathmandu and very few places outside Kathmandu because we had elder people with us. But if you are coming and if you all are young, you can actually uh, cover few places which are uh, little far from our Kathmandu, for example, Pokharan. It's a beautiful place. You can definitely go experience there. It's like 200 kilometers from Kathmandu. We could not go there, but we don't regret it because we literally enjoyed our family trip, our family time. We spent some quality time in Kathmandu only. Uh, three days are enough for Kathmandu. We took six. Uh, but there is a tip for you all. You can three day in three days you will be able to cover Kathmandu and rest you can cover the places uh, outside Kathmandu. So I hope with us you also enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Namaste.